Here's Johnny. Take your sticking paws off. Let me be quick. What's up, Spanish horror fans, and welcome back to The Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host, as always, Jay Schatzer, and today I'm diving into the crazy world of Paul Nashie films. Here is my collection of it, and it's just really some really great, entertaining, fun, fl fun films that I just can't get enough of. So let's jump right into the first entry in this collection update. It is Paul, the Paul Nashie Collection. I guess this is just titled Volume 1. They didn't put it because I don't think they thought they were going to be able to make a second one. But this is the first volume on Blu-ray. Great, great edition. It's got some winners on here. We have Horror Rises from the Tomb, Vengeance of the Zombies, Blue Eyes of the Broken Doll, Human Beasts, and Night of the Werewolf. I believe all of these films I have on DVD form um, in the collection, but um, I had to get this Blu-ray upgrade because I love these flicks, just love the style, and just great Spanish horror films in general. Uh, the Horror Rises from the Tomb is a great kind of zombie combination there, same as The Vengeance of the Zombies. Uh, Blue Eyes of the Broken Doll is more of a giallo kind of flick, maybe more of a thriller. Human Beasts, I do not remember too much about that one. I don't know if I've actually seen it, so I'll have to check that out. And Night of the Werewolf is one of his many werewolf flicks that he's done. So, great, great collection. Um, definitely have to watch these soon, because I haven't, I haven't seen the actual edition yet to see how the transfers are in it, but I believe they're pretty good. Uh, it was put out by Scream Factory, um, so yeah, I have to check those ones out, because I love me some Paul Nashie. But... Up next is the second collection of this series. <clears throat> the films in this one are Hunchback of the Morgue, which I watched last year and loved it. A Dragonfly for Each Corpse, which I believe is probably, uh, I think it's a giallo kind of flick. Uh, the, the Devil's Possessed, it's kind of a possession flick, same as Exorcism, which is the next flick. And rounding it out with The Werewolf and the Yeti. Another Paul Nashie um, werewolf movie. Uh, I'm trying to remember what his name is in that film, in those films. Ugh, I can't remember. It doesn't say it. Damn it. But um, yeah, great collection. Another great one. That's got a lot of entertaining gems on it. This one has a, a more of a mixture of horror and just different subgenres of horror with a giallo entry. So it's really cool. Really cool entry. Great Blu-ray. And I love the uh, Hunchback of the Morgue when I watched it, and that was my first time watch. Uh, really great stuff. But let's move on to another odd one. It is, oh, oddly titled, Count Dracula's Great Love. Sounds like a porno to me. <laughs> but um, this one, I actually watched this one recently too, I think around the same time that I watched the um, Hunchback of the Morgue. Uh, really great flick. It's a more Dracula kind of driven one where he plays a vampire seducing women and falls in love with one beautiful special person. Tries to change, but you can't train, you can't change Count Dracula. You just can't do it. But um, yeah, great, great film overall. Fun stuff. Paul Nash, he's great in it. And yeah, loved it. This is Vinegar Sy Syndrome put out this one. Good addition. They always put out great stuff. So if you ever see anything by uh, Vinegar Syndrome, definitely pick it up. You're, you're bound for an entertaining night with any of the flicks that they put out. So let's move on to the next entry. And this is pretty much going to be my double feature DVD collections of his films. And a lot of them overlap with the uh, Blu-ray collections that I upgraded to. Uh, for instance, Human Beasts and Blue Eyes of the Broken Doll. 
Uh, those two were mentioned in the collection, the first collection, I believe. And yep, yeah, just um, interesting stuff. It was nice to have it on uh, the DVD collection. Love this one, and just had to upgrade the Blu-rays to just get a little bit more high definition in these crazy weird flicks. But next up is a two uh, two film pack. Um, same as the other one. What they, who put these out? Looks like Victory Films. But um, uh, one of them is a Paul Nashi film. The other one is not. It's an Armando Desario film, which uh, I reviewed on the channel. We have Horror Rises from the Tomb and The Lorelei's Grasp. Now, The Lorelei's Grasp is the Armando Desario film. Uh, and if you are interested in that flick, it's a fabulous one. Great atmosphere. Got that review up on the channel, so check that one out for sure. Uh, Horror Rises from the Tomb is actually a pretty cool uh, zombie film that I've been meaning to review that one, but haven't got around to it. Uh, just a really great collection overall. Uh, it's the only copy of Lorelei's Grass that I have. Uh, and yeah, I need to upgrade that one for sure because that's one of my favorites. Great cast in that one, just overall story is pretty cool. But next up is another double feature, same as the last. One's in Paul Nashi film, the other one is Amanda Desario. I guess they just paired them up because they were Spanish uh, filmmakers and they just kind of thought, hey, put them together, what, what the hell? But that is The Night of the Sorcerers and Exorcism. So Exorcism is the Paul Nashi film and Night of the, the Night of the Sorcerers is the Armando Desario uh, directed film. Uh, both films are interesting. Uh, probably my favorite out of these two is The Night of the Sorcerers because I just love Amanda Desario's style in it. It's just a really weird story about people going to the Amazon and the tribe there has are haunted by these things. It's just really, really strange and unusual, but really enjoyable. And Exorcism is just kind of like an exorcism, you know, exorcist kind of style film where someone gets possessed, he's got to come in and save the day. But next up is um, another single film but in the same kind of collection where they put out all of his movies it is vengeance of the zombies and look at that little demonic paul nashi right there look at that little freak this one I, I like this one a lot too it's got a lot of weird elements in it a lot of occult imagery uh, i believe the zombies show up near the end too it's a really interesting film really cool really lush in places so it's it's got a lot of italian style to it even though it's a spanish film uh, it's really cool. Yeah, definitely check this one out. I want to revisit this one and just do a rev review for it because it's really one of those oddities that me more people need to see. But um, again, that one's... All of these ones that I was listing that were Paul Nashi are in those collections, the Blu-ray collection, so I upgraded almost every single one of them. And up next is Night of the Werewolf, another one that was mentioned in the Blu-ray collection. And just a really cool... Werewolf, I believe this is the Werewolves versus Vampires or something in it. There's just a whole bunch of crazy shit going on in this. I think this is the one. I'm not sure, but... Yep, another cool one. Paul Nashi plays... Let, let's see if they have a name here. Where is he? Where is this guy's name? Barnabas or something weird like that. Wal Val Valdemir... Valdemir... Daninsky. <laughs> that's, that's his character's name in all these werewolf movies. But yeah, fun film... Fun flick. Moving on. Uh, this one is actually not in any of the Blu-rays that I have uh, collection. So this one's in. This one is one that has not been upgraded. It is Curse of the Devil. And I believe it's another werewolf one with him playing the same character. It's also known as Return of the Walpurgis. <laughs> I'm glad they went with Curse of the Devil because that one sounds like a Willy Wonka film. But uh, yep, another good one. It's got that same style as all the other ones. Really cool, really cool Spanish flick. And last, holy shit, <laughs> and last but not least is The Hanging Woman. And this one I really love. Uh, it's m mostly a zombie film and just a really cool atmosphere. Uh, interesting, I didn't think it was gonna be a zombie film. I thought it was just gonna be some weird tale about ghosts or something, The Hanging Woman, but yeah, really cool stuff. I mean, and this uh, Troma actually put this edition out. Uh, I'm probably gonna definitely have to do a review for this one because I I want to kind of put more obscure films that nobody really knows about. I, I mean, I mostly do that anyways, but 
this one definitely needs to have a wider audience just to check it out and see what they think. But guys, we've made it to the end of our Paul Nashi collection. But I uh, hope you liked that one. As always, I uh, hope you found some gems that you want to check out for yourself. Maybe some ones that you want to check out the reviews I did on the channel. Like, well, Lorelai's Grasp, which isn't a Paul Nashi film, but a great film in general. Um, yeah, just some good stuff overall. Definitely recommend picking up the uh, Paul Nashi collection 1 and 2. Uh, great additions. Uh, a lot of good stuff in there. And, I mean, that's if you find any of his films compelling. Definitely pick up the Blu-rays because they're really great collections. But guys, that's it for me today. Uh, I'll see you at the next movie review or collection update. And just stay classy as usual. And I will see you all later. Take care.